Here we go. My friend's GoldenEye's most broken level nearly crashed my friend's Xbox Series X. Okay, well maybe not quite, but it did generate some incredibly bizarre glitches that we're going to talk about today. Indeed, we're jumping back into Surface 1, GoldenEye's unusual stage that seems to break itself through the natural course of play with faceless guards, bizarre textures, and weapon glitches, including some new ones that we've never seen before on the original N64. Plus, if you've been hoping that I'll upload a playthrough or walkthrough of the re-release sharing tips and tricks, there's a special announcement for you at the end of the video. So, let's get into it all. So on Surface 1, there are two sets of guards. The default Siberian Special Forces, who look like this, and the Arctic Commandos, who look like this. There's also one other guard, a Commandant, who I just want to mention for completion's sake. Okay, so the Siberian Forces are already on the stage when you load in. They patrol the stage, and they spawn with snipers and clobs. However, the Arctic Commandos only spawn if you set off an alarm. And there are a number of ways to do this. You can blow up the communications console, you can get seen by this camera, you can manually trigger the alarm yourself, or, and this is the easiest way, you can press B to attempt to open the locked door to the bunker. This is literally all you have to do to begin encountering a world of high strangeness and glitches that feel like they're gonna crash your game, but they never do which just stacks them on top of each other, making them even more and more unusual. And the weirdest thing of all is that you don't even need to turn on any in-game cheats to make it all happen. It just does. Now on this channel, there's nothing we love more than exploring the wonderment of 90s video game worlds, nostalgically taking us back to our childhood days of yore. And what goes better with that than a tasty bowl of breakfast cereal from Magic Spoon? Magic Spoon reinvents your childhood favorite cereals with four great flavors. Fruity, cocoa, peanut butter, and my personal choice, frosted. Magic Spoon has the great taste you love with more protein and less sugar. They've come in clutch for me as a late night snack to munch on during my late night gaming and editing sessions, and as a great bite to start the day. Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, four to five net grams of carbs in each serving. They're only 140 calories per serving, and they're also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, and soy-free. And hey, who doesn't love soy-free? So start your new year off right with Magic Spoon. Click the link below to grab a variety pack of Magic Spoon cereal and try today. Be sure to use the promo code STAYTRUE at checkout to get $5 off any order, or go to magicspoon.com slash staytrue. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee, so if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So click the link below or scan the QR code on the screen and use the code STAYTRUE for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com slash staytrue to save $5 on your order today. So here's what traditionally happens. After you cycle through a handful of Arctic Commando spawns, who spawn four at a time with every alarm going off, eventually their facial textures get all messed up, including, but not limited to, appearing with a thick blue line instead of a face, appearing with two or three faces stitched together, or appearing with no faces at all. I know, I know, this sounds like a creepy pasta, but it's almost stranger because it's real. There was very little video footage of this glitch online until I brought it up in discussion and video last year, and now we do have more context, but still not much better of an understanding. Naturally, I wanted to try this glitch on the Xbox Series X, which a friend had lent me. Now, one might think that the Xbox can handle more processing and is less likely to glitch or break the game in this manner, but I suppose the game is bound by the game itself rather than the console and I encountered some things that were so strange, I just have to share them here today. So it starts out the same, spawning the guards, pretty quickly getting the facial texture botchery. I got a few guards with three faces, which reminded me of the famous quote, you will live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. 
Yo, who did it first, AI art or Goldeneye? I had on a bunch of cheats in this segment, including DK mode and fast animation, which help get faster guard spawns and make their faces larger. You can also pretty quickly notice that your R aimer crosshair gets messed up, and the ammo gets messed up for many items too. The lasers, whether it be the watch laser or the moonraker laser, often end up shooting this weird stream of clear water looking substance, rather than the typical blue laser. But here's where it got really weird. On previous encounters messing around with this glitch, you get a lot of strange textures on the remote mines. It was actually a little bit similar to my exploration of the bunker floating mines glitch, where the rockets take on visual properties of stuff around them. In this case, the mines end up doing something similar on Surface 1. This footage comes from me playing around with this back in August of 2022, and pretty much anywhere I go, the mines take on weird properties of the background they were thrown on, like a chameleon, or in some cases other textures from somewhere else. It's just very unusual. But perhaps even stranger was this time around, the mines just didn't have any properties at all. They were the same shape as they always were, but they had no textures at all. They were just blank. I know, once again, this sounds like a bad creepypasta or something, with an ever-evolving, personalized game cartridge that keeps doing weird things with little consistency, but this was actually happening. And not only did the mines have no texture, but I was streaming when this happened, and this moment freaked out fellow GoldenEye player Sam Sammy. I'll slow it down or freeze frame right here. Can you see it? In this moment, Samo thought that the guard threw a milk bottle at me, or something like that. I mean, it's a blank, white shape being tossed at me from a guard in fast animation. In actuality, this was just a grenade, but this effect of the Surface 1 glitch had never been seen before on an original N64, and perhaps this particular part of this glitched level is unique to the Xbox re-release. Perhaps. The blank nades. They still have the form of a nade, but no texture, no color, just a blank looking shape, like a bottle of milk or something. Don't try drinking it though. It's unbelievably strange and spooky in a way, especially given that I doubt anyone really knows exactly what's going on deep within the console, misfiring or overloading the textures in such a way to cause this. I also noticed while slowing down the footage that on this nade toss, we get one frame of Arctic Commando Insignia nade, and one frame of grotesque finger texture nade. There are simply no words for such a thing, and I'm pretty sure that literally no one else in the game's history has ever witnessed this abomination. Now I tried this again on another low to the stage, and this time I didn't get the formless mines. I did encounter many new textures that I hadn't previously encountered though, which was kind of cool. For example, I was up on the satellite dish throwing mines around a number of Siberian Special Forces guards, and there were these moments where I was sure the mine was picking up the texture of their face, which was unsettling to say the least. You could also see the mines picking up the yellows and oranges of the wood textures when throwing it around the cabins, but here's one I was happy to capture in the higher quality resolution made possible through the re-release on Xbox. Here's a clip of me lamenting the resolution on N64, making it difficult to get a clear, nice capture of the mine taking on the textures from these explosive barrels last year when I recorded a clip. I've definitely seen that like mine texture before. The problem is when you get too close, it turns into like this other weird texture. And so you can never like actually examine what this weird red mine texture is, which is kind of unfortunate because I would love to see it up close. But now we can clearly see that this is indeed the same texture from the barrels. It's pretty cool to have this confirmation and clear footage of it. And it's just so fascinating to me that this happens. Like, why does it decide to pick up the little symbol from the barrel rather than the barrel itself or anything around it? This one seems like one of the strongest textures as well. You know, others kind of come and go, flashing in and out of form and consciousness. Whereas when you get the explosive symbol locked into the mine, it tends to keep it there. This other one was really strange. I got it to pick up part of the Siberian Commando's uniform, some sort of insignia over here. 
I legitimately have never seen that one before, not on N64, and perhaps there are some textures that can only be seen or shown on different versions. That of course wouldn't be intentional, but there must be something overflowing or overwriting in the game's memory in some weird way that results in this. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments if you have any knowledge on this kind of thing whatsoever, but perhaps it's simply too strange and unusual. Now here's something more to ruminate on. There was actually a good deal of investigation and speculation in a forum thread I made back in August about this glitch, and it was pointed out that perhaps you do need cheats on, particularly all guns, in order to get enough textures to initiate and create this glitch. This goes contrary to what I said in this video a few times, but when I really think about it, no one has encountered the faceless glitch without cheats, at least not as far as I know, yet. So this is just yet another unknown to add to our strange, mysterious glitch. My friends, it just keeps happening. I did want to touch on this, but didn't want to draw out a whole new video for it alone. Perfect Ace has set a new untied world record on Silo Double O Agent with a time of 1.20, beating the previous record of 1.21 held by Ace and yours truly. This is actually a really interesting and significant record, so I wanted to mention it and share the story of the stage here, because it's not every day you see a Silo Double O Agent world record. In fact, it's become the rarest stage in the entire game to see one over the last decade. You see, Silo Double O Agent had been one of the less optimized records throughout the early days of GoldenEye 007 speedrunning, since it is a complex level where you often pass away before reaching the end. But the record would drop from Boss's iconic 132 in 2004 to Ace's 121 in 2014, the early Twitch era. And it remained there at 121 ever since, making it one of the oldest records in the entire game, which is especially rare for a complex Double O Agent stage. Usually the records that remain records for 10 years are very simple ones, agent difficulty strafing levels, but in this case it was Silo Double O Agent. Silo Double O Agent has always been one of my better stages as well, having untied the level 5 times between 2006 and 2008, and I was the one who ended up tying Aces 121 in 2017 after a lengthy and grueling grind. Not one single person had achieved another tie of Silent Double Agent since November 2017, making it the record which had been unachieved for the longest time, a period of five years where not one single player had managed to tie or beat the score. And numerous top players and world record setters did give it an honest good grind. The data on unachieved records isn't something we've tracked very well over the years, but any time going 5 years or more without anyone scoring it is pretty rare, and it's insane to think that had I not scored the 121 in 2017, perhaps Ace's 121 would have remained untied that whole time, which would have put it well beyond number 1 as the longest standing untied world record in the game's history. You know, imagine a world where Ace's 121 remains untied for 8 full years to date. That would have handily beat the all-time longest standing untied world record, which was Mark Rutu's damn Double Agent 155, untied for 5.5 years. In any matter, Ace's original 121 did get slowed down at the end by Ormov, so 120 and lower was always hard because it's just tough to pace runs to the end where everything goes right. But it didn't require any sort of new strategy or innovation, just finally nailing the clean clutch run, which Ace did in the early hours of February 12th, 2023. So a big congratulations to him on conquering one of the harder levels in the game and setting a new untied world record in the process. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the other untied world record set thus far in 2023, Statue Agent 217 by Cali W. Statue Agent is actually the hardest or slowest of the three difficulties of Statue, since boosts are less frequent and you're never really at any risk of passing away, even on Double O Agent. The objectives are the same throughout all three difficulties. That being said, Kali is certainly one of the best strafers in the game, and combined the clutchness of a perfectly played run with the lucky 1 in 9 flight recorder to nail 217 as the first untied world record of the year. The past few years we've seen about 8 to 12 untied world records in Goldeneye, and so how many will we see this year? 
Well, if you stay tuned and subscribe to this channel, you will be sure to find out. Two last things before we go. I'll be posting my full Xbox playthrough, beating the game and unlocking all the cheats with commentary, tips, and tricks on the Speedlore channel. So subscribe over there if you'd like to see that. And I'll be posting a new exclusive video to the Speedlore Patreon page pretty soon. So check that out too if you would like to see that. Okay, with all that, my friends, thank you all for watching. Stay true, and I'll see you in the next stream or video.